February 2015 uh, here with Nathan Blake. Um, we're going to have our first uh, update from the March TV show. See where you're at. Um, you'll refer to the brief here as we have this chat and then you're going to perform what you've got for us. So just to introduce, um, introduce your plan, what is it that you plan to do? Uh, I, plan, I plan to perform a spoken word, um, just a, a spoken word poem, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it with a backing track or without one yet. Um, like, just a live piano one, or just nothing. I'm not, I'm just not sure. And you think about using a live musician for that? Um, yeah, but like, if, I'm thinking if I did it live with no backing track, it would be more serious because when you've got a backing track people like sometimes misinterpret it like because what I'm speaking about is not like the light side of what money can do it's just like it, it's too serious to put something behind it if you know what I mean so why are you, why are you considering a backing track at the moment then? just to give it sort of some like um, just to make it a bit more full, but with the way I would like got it, it's it's I'm like if I put something behind it, it could ruin it. If you know what I mean. So basically, you should like experiment and then decide the yeah. the time. Excellent. So there's a few students on the course who who, who might be able to play that. Um, you can you can use me if you really want, but try and use some of the other students. Yeah. But don't feel uh, don't feel too embarrassed or nervous about going for it on your own and doing it purely spoken word with no accompaniment because that would be uh, I think that'd be really special. I don't think that anyone would be expecting it. Yeah. Um, you've heard of George the poet, haven't you? We've discussed him a couple of times off camera. Um, just for the purposes of the camera, George the poet is an artist who started out uh, rapping the gram style and then moved away to, to more spoken word stuff and has recently achieved uh, commercial success and he's quite well known now. Um, excellent, okay. So, just before half term, your research sounds around the theme of money, didn't it? Have any of those influenced your lyrics in any way? Um, directly or, or perhaps subconsciously when you listen to them during your research? I, I don't really think any of them have really because um, most of the ones that I picked are like about the good side of like having money but I'm talking more about not having money. Excellent. Okay, so, you, so you've explored those ideas for performing arts work and now you're developing those ideas. Okay. And you've decided to go for an original work. So your research has helped you to see what most songs about money are about and you decided to go the other way. Yeah. So it's almost like you've it's influenced you to the point that you've rejected what most people write about when it comes to money. Yeah. So I quite I quite like that. And also you 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 you're being really bold and um, showing a lot of courage by deciding to do spoken word performance. I've done it once or twice myself and it is quite nerve wracking compared to performing within your comfort zone, yeah. uh, either behind the instrument or to, to wrap into a backing track, which is what you're comfortable with. Um, excellent. I think this will really help you long term as well when you're, when you're writing lyrics, not just for yourself, because you're a producer as well, aren't you? So yeah. you produce beats. Um, do you produce beats for other people at the moment? Have you ever done that before? Or is it really more for yourself or collaborations? Um, I've like talked about it, but um, I, and I've like give people beats and stuff. It like, but no one's recorded anything over them yet. Okay. Th just because like, Preston, it's hard to get like studio time and that for cheap. Yeah. And just no one's really getting in the studio unless you've got them. Okay, 
So just going forward, long, longer term, I think the fact that you're willing to perform outside of your comfort zone and write outside of your comfort zone, in a few years' time you might meet a female singer, you might write a track for it, yeah. and it might be completely different to what you, you're normally doing, so this is, this is going to really assist you in, in making that stuff uh, happen and work. Yeah. So obviously you're, you're the band leader for this because it's either going to be just you or just yourself and one the performer. Yeah. So you're responsible for the success of the group, which again doesn't really apply to you, but if you do use another musician, how are you going about how are you gonna go about informing them of the of the style you want? Because I think it's gonna be quite free form, is it? Is that right? Yeah, well, it's I, not gonna be strict rhythmically. Um like obviously there'd be a plan, but if it was like on a piano or a guitar, you can just like work your way around it. Because like you get the person who's using the instrument to like follow you. Yeah, I see what you mean. Although George the poet is very uh, when he performs sometimes he'll he'll repeat a line twice or something when he fluffs up and you know it's just it becomes part of the performance. You know, the piano player will adapt to that. Yeah. So if it's not rhythmic as well, it gives you that option of uh, Especially if you've got a lot of lyrics all coming along, so it gives you that, those um, those options to be a bit more freeform and to go with the flow of the performance as well, and also to vibe off the audience as well. Do you know what I mean? If yeah. you, you get a certain feel from the audience, you might want to speed it up in certain places, slow it down in certain places, emphasise certain words or certain syllables. But you know all this already. Being a rapper, you're just implementing it in a different way. I'm really, really pleased that you plan to do this. I'm really impressed. Because you've already hit a lot of the performance criteria, but this is going to be extra evidence. Yeah. Um, so I'm really pleased. I can't wait to hear it, actually. So, so you're going to be, if you're using the musician, you'll be working collaboratively to allocate the role. So you'll be the band leader, you'll be firmly in charge. Yeah. But um, work closer with them. Um, I suppose you'll be still, you'll be doing it anyway, won't you, whether you end up performing with them or not. Yeah. So, Work collaboratively with them, work closely with them, and listen to any feedback that they might give you, and, and um, try and identify the responsibilities of your role as well as the band leader. Yeah. Yeah. So what, we could do that now actually, what do you think the role of a band leader is? Like a band leader has got to make all the right decisions, like sometimes has to be harsh when it needs to be, but I don't know, you can't, you can't like, um, take advantage of a, a big role if you get what I mean. Yeah, so it's quite a delicate thing and you might want to use a different set of words or a different approach of dealing with different musicians yeah. even within the same band. Um, so you executed the role of band leader excellently last time when you worked with Kaylee, who unfortunately isn't here anymore, and, and Liam as well, your older brother. I thought you were absolutely fantastic. And the song you wrote was brilliant as well. Excellent song, and it fit the brief perfectly. So I know you've got these skills already. I'm really glad that you're thinking outside the box with this one. Um, got any final questions or comments about, about what's on the brief here before you perform for us? Um. morning I have a 12 but I have a uh, 16 hour because, well yesterday I had a 12 but I have a 16 hour because um, I want to say for today and I just thought well like, last bit so I'm just going to keep on that, I don't want to Thanks. tell this like a full thing. Just, uh, just quickly as well, in terms of the arrangement, I know it's still very very early days yet, um, but going forward do you think you're going to have some sort of chorus or repeated section to break up the main bits or are you just going to flow right through? I think I'll like, I'd like a slogan or something like that, if you get what I mean. Yeah, like, like a hook or a repeated line. Yeah, there's, there's something that I'll say that I'll like, catch them on the ear. Like, and just say it on, like, in between. Good. Alright, I think we're ready to hear it, if you will. If you can perform it for us. <coughs> so, just, just quickly while you're setting up, have you ever performed stand up? 
one than one one sections, and I was like trying to do all of them at the same yeah. time. Yeah. But that's going to increase your employability skills as well going forward. Like moving on to different things, like because if if, if you're not good at like drawing, you go on to something else, and if you're not good at that, just carry on going until you find the right thing. out there 